Okay, so the first thing we have to do before uh, we can use the HPP-22 modules install the software. Now this is what was provided to me for this upgrade. It's uh, H HPP-22 version 1.02, whatever 8 is. Uh, so you just run that, you install it. Now actually you might need to elevate yourself, so run as administrator. I'm running Windows 764. If you're running 32 or Vista, you probably want to run this as administrator. So right click on it, select run as administrator. We'll say yes, it's a fairly quick install. Why mine comes up with Estonian for default language, no clue, but I'll select English, so make sure you do that. <laughs> Otherwise, you may not be able to read the, uh, the GUI. And basically it'll come up with the install, and you say next, next. Go ahead and let it install the default location. It'll create shortcuts, desktop icons, etc. I'm just going to go with the default and select install. And I'm not going to launch it right now. And if you want to read, uh, read the <laughs> view the README, uh, you can. But I don't need to do that. We'll just continue on. Now, what it should have done is installed a desktop, an icon on your desktop. I'll drag it over here uh, while we're doing this. Um, okay, so that's installed. Now, one thing to notice when you plug in the HPP-22 interface, no drivers are required. As a matter of fact, when you plug it in, even before installing the software, uh, Windows should find it, uh, automatically install whatever it needs to. Uh, there are no separate driver disks or anything you need to install this. It's basically a standard USB device. All right, so that's going to finish installation. We'll come back and, uh, and show how to upgrade. Okay, to do the upgrade, and let me zoom out, is you want your HP 22 module and the USB cable uh, you have to supply, but we've got that ready. And it, what I want to show you is the connection. So if I plug into the computer, uh, it should turn on. And if I'm running the software, I'll get a blue light. But this is to show you the connection. So you take the cable. This is to upgrade the radio now, not the module. Take this cable. Notice it's keyed. You're going to plug that into port 1. All right, make sure you're seated. Port 1. Can't be port 2 or 3. It won't work and you can go ahead and plug this in. Now when you run the software it tells you to do all this uh, during the software run uh, which I'll show you uh, here but I wanted to show the connections for upgrading the radio. Okay so now we're gonna run the software and it doesn't matter right now whether you have the cable plugged in or not but if you don't let me show you what happens. I'm just gonna say yes. Alright now you'll see this progress bar it's not connecting to the interface it is not seeing the interface so at this point if you haven't plugged it in I recommend go ahead and plug it in first that way you don't have to do this but if you plug it in now and you'll see the blue bar comes across and it's basically talking to the interface now we have not hooked up the HP P22 to the radio yet but the first thing we're gonna do is you can upgrade the receiver the transmitter and the module that's what the ETC is we'll sh I'll show that in a minute uh, but we want to do the transmitter. So, uh, real quick, I have a blue light on the HPP-22 at this point because the application is talking to it. So we're going to select transmitter and we're going to select Aurora 9. That's what I have. And you'll see this interface come up. Now, by default, it's set to HP-22 mode. What that means is, if I go ahead and follow the instructions here, plug the 3-pin connector into P1, which I'll show uh, plug the stereo jack in the trainer port and turn on the transmitter. If I do that, leaving this HP22 mode as the default, let me do that now, okay, and turn on the transmitter, you'll see uh, it will come to this data save, data load. This is where you can save your models and all that kind of stuff. All right, but we don't want to do that, uh, and uh, I'm not, I may not do a video on doing this because it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to turn off the transmitter and I'm gonna say transmitter we're gonna go Aurora 9 and this time we want to select the upgrade module alright so once we select that the instructions are the same it tells you to plug in so we plugged in the trainer port now make sure you plug in the trainer port not the charge port okay and then we're gonna turn on the radio and now we're in upgrade mode now this version of the upgrade software came, comes with 106 and 107 I'm already on 106 so we're gonna to upgrade to 107 and then you say, do you want to continue? And you select yes. And it will say, now you want to make sure you had a very good battery charged up. If your battery was not charged while you're doing this, it does take some time. And if the radio shuts down, you could mess up your radio. So make sure your battery's well charged before you even started this process. And you'll see it'll start counting down and it will take a while. So I'm going to pause for right now and we'll come back. 
So during the upgrade process, what you should be seeing is a fast, fast blinking light on the HP P-22. Additionally, your power light should be blinking and, and you should have no display while you're upgrading. Uh, and again, we're connected to port 1 here and we're connected to the trainer port with the cable that was supplied with the HP P-22. Not the charge port, the trainer port, and it's plugged all the way in. If this wasn't working, you wouldn't be getting this, and of course the software on the screen would not be showing you that you're connected, nor would you have been able to start the update. But uh, I wanted to show you what it looks like while it's updating. Okay, it's just about finishing up, 96%, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And there we go, it should say upgrade complete, but don't let the progress bar here kind of make you think it started doing something else. I don't know why it shows that, but basically just say upgrade complete, goes away, and basically then drops you into the regular mode where you can save and whatnot. Alright, so we'll take a look at the radio now and see what it looks like after the upgrade. Uh, by the way, an interesting thing here, wait, let me go back, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll uh, come back and take a look at that. Okay, once the update's complete, what I wind up with is a flashing module, uh, all right, but uh, if I exit the software real quick here, let me exit the software, uh, because it switches to the talk mode where you can download your models. You should get a solid light. At this point, you can go ahead and unplug. So let's take a look at what the radio looks like when we, uh, just after we've upgraded here. So bear with me. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So what it's going to say is confirmation, version changed 106, which is what I had, to 107, and you click OK, and you basically right back to where you started. All right, so that is the upgrade of the radio software. Next, we'll do the module software.